52% from the field. There you see for the Pilots, Andrews, Slega, Mulheim, Julie Spencer, and Lisa Kemp. For Cal State Fullerton, it'll be Hannah Thompson, Jade Vega, Raina Perez, Caroline Gill, and Asia Smith in the middle. So Portland will certainly have their hands full defensively trying to contain Smith and the same to see the youngster Haley Andrews along with some of the veterans like Slaga and Spencer. For sure, and they're, they're shooting a lot of threes and they know they switched up their offense quite a bit, so it'll be interesting to see how they get going here at their first home game. It'll be Spencer against Smith. An interesting, interesting setup for tip-off. The smaller Julie Spencer wins it. Here's Andrews, the freshman. Kemp's going to take the jumper from the top of the key, a little short. And the rebound pulled down by Fullerton. Gill works it around the perimeter. A three from the wing from Thompson. Can't get it to go, and Kemp with the rebound. A pair of threes to start the game off. It seems both teams are willing to shoot that. That pass Aaron goes out of bounds. It'll go back to the Titans. That's in the road trip for Portland to start the season, playing Utah Valley, Weber State, and then on the road at Hawaii. Three straight wins to start the season before that loss to Arizona. Gill, and then a foul away from the ball. It looks like they're going to challenge Lisa Kempf inside with Deja in there, putting in some work. Well, Smith's got the size advantage, 6'3", the Richard Jr. Great read by Malheim on the steal. Malheim looking to take it coast to coast with the left hand and scores. Great drive there by Maddie. You know, she doesn't take a lot of sh shots within that three-point arc, so good strong drive to finish that to start the game. Here's Vega who had 12 points in the meeting between the two teams last year. Like three players on the floor right now that had double figures in that game. Julie Spencer, the only player for Portland in that meeting last year, was scored 24 points. Well, Kemp just picked up her second quick fouls. I know she's looking to be physical in there, but... Yeah, it looks like she will have to come out of the game. So Portland's going to go even smaller. Kate Anderson, the 5'9 junior from right here in Portland, played her ball at Jesuit High School. Third on the team and scoring second in assists last year. Vega looking to turn the corner, dumps it down low to Gill, lost the handle. Trying to find Thompson, turns on the block, goes up strong, can't finish, got the rebound. Good offensive rebound by Caroline Gill. Gill very athletic inside, even though she's a little undersized, she jumps out the gym. Vega, there's Smith, eight on the shot clock, three from the wing, Perez got it. Perez for three. Big shot right there with the hand in her face. Whereas a 27% three-point shooter, third on the team in scoring. Slega off the screen, the jumper a little strong. Nice hesitation, drive along the baseline, and Vega for two. Lisa Marie Kemp got the start, but quickly picked up two fouls. Andrews, awkward angle, can't get it to go. Tough shot there, good defense by Cal State. Perez, well worked around the perimeter. Gill trying to dump it down low, good read by Julie Spencer, and we go the other way. Andrews trying to split a double team, caught a foul. That's twice, Portland's got some good stills, just making good reads, seeing the ball at all times. Great read there by Julie Spencer to get that still and kick it up. And Thompson picks up the foul. Thompson, the junior from Mill City, Oregon. Malheim thought about the three. Andrews dumps in the middle. Spencer faces, now puts it on the floor. Goes up strong with the right hand. Score the basket and the foul. Chance for a three-point play for Julie Spencer. Great drive by Julie Spencer, knowing that she's a senior now. She's got to stay aggressive. Good hard drive to the basket. Here's another look. He just didn't back down there. Just hard look to the basket, attacking, being strong, being a leader that she's going to have to be throughout the season. Well, Spencer averaging 11.8 points per game. He was second on the team in scoring last year behind Slega. And we're all tied five apiece opening quarter from the Child Center. 
Vega. Thompson off the screen, now Smith. Vega trying to dump it back to Smith. Has it on the block, 13 on the shot clock. Good man-to-man -man defense by the Pilots. Thompson fakes the jumper, kicks it out. Vega will take the three from the wing. Connects. Big shot right there. That's good patience by Cal State Fullerton. They just took what was given to them, worked the ball around, and got a great shot at the end of the clock. Titans 2-3 three from three-point range to start this game. Here's Spencer. She'll try and answer. Yes. And Spencer heating up early in this game. They've been looking for that. Both teams have been very aggressive offensively. You like to see that. Spencer, 41% from three-point range coming into the game. Knocks down her first three. And we're all tied to eight apiece. Gill. Smith still looking for her first points of the game. Thompson off the screen. Back-to-back -back threes. And great way to get her feet turned around off that screen. Nice quick release. That's good defense. Just a better shot. Slega splits a double team off the glass for two. Great drive by Slega. Like I just said, they're aggressive offensively and early in the offense. Both teams over 50% early on. Vegas skips it cross court. Thompson fakes the three, drives into the paint. The runner a little strong. Good rebound there by Andrews. Andrews quickly ahead. Slega on the break. A three is short. Long rebound tracked down by Spencer and another look for the Pilots. Great transition rebound there by Spencer. Anderson puts it on the floor. Up strong. No oh. traveling. Going to be called on Kate Anderson. Strong drive. Just probably landed one, two on that drive. But good take by Anderson. Keeping up the aggression. You see that from every pilot that's on the court, which is going to be important as they continue through the game. Pilots were 7-23 and 23 last year, just 3-15 and 15 in the West Coast Conference. Already three wins in this early season. Smith, the intended target that time. Another well, good steal by the Pilots. Well, they're playing good defense early on. Third steal of the game. Slaga off the last, another tough basket in the paint. And Slaga just taking advantage of that mismatch. She's a little older, definitely a stronger player inside, and she's been taking it right to the rack. Vega. Smith being double teamed down low. Now she has it on the block. Good and another defense. steal. Medi Mulheim comes up with her second of the game. Andrews trying to take it all the way and is fouled in the paint. And Andrews, good aggression and ball handling through all that traffic. She's picked up two fouls just in transition, just being aggressive. Uh, two, how about two steals for Mulheim? Four for the team already here. Great team defense. It's great team defense. Josie Matz. Making it really tough for Smith in there. For the first time, that's the 5'10 sophomore from Tacoma. Slaga is going to fire the three and connects. And Slaga just being aggressive in this game. She's done a great job scoring easy. Talking to the coach earlier in the game, before the game started. They just said Slaga scores so easy, sometimes you look up and she has all these points. <laughs> Anna Thompson answers right back. Thompson, two of three from three-point range. Both teams shooting well. Over 60% to start this game. You see Gorsman for the first time for the Pilots, also wearing number 14. Anderson off the screen, puts it on the floor. Kicks it out, Gorsman right wing for three. A little strong, and the rebound pulled down by the Titans. The ball worked ahead quickly to Vega. Vega, nice leave that time. Great and transition. Brooks. Great team transition there. That's hard to stop right off the rebound, pushing it up the court. Team's running well. Zebra freshman from New Zealand, 14 and a half points per game, second on the team in scoring. Spencer. Tap the elbow, no good. Maybe a little rushed on that shot. Didn't quite have her feet underneath her like she likes. Vega. Brooke. They're going to reset the offense. Pilots man-to-man -man defensively. Brooke looking underneath. Smith kicks it out. Ball worked in the corner. Thompson fakes a three. Has a lane to the basket. Blocked on the way up and then some contact. And Thompson being very aggressive. Kind of picking up the slack for Smith. As Smith has been double teamed. And she just goes hard to that basket. Good try there by Julie. Just came down a little bit. Titans shooting 67% from the field. Pilots 50%. Thompson at the line, already six points today. Along with three rebounds and an assist. And she knocks down the free throw, 40% at the line coming into the game. Pilots going to the bench. And Thompson very clearly a very confident shooter. Uh, the pilots are going to have to keep an eye on her if she keeps heating up throughout the game. 
Our first look at Christina Woolridge, the 6'2 sophomore. Running number 22 for the Pilots, checking back in along with Mulheim. Forsman with the rebound. And the Titans on top, 17 to 15. Gorsman trying to split a double team. Blocked along the way up that time by Brooke. Good defense. Bit too much height in there. Has there lost the handle. Up. Gorsman got blocked on one and she picks up the steal on the other. Five steals for the Pilots here in the opening quarter. Andrews to the basket. Can't get it to go. And Pilots getting a little out of control here offensively, especially on those drives. They want to keep going strong to the basket to have a little composure as they attack so they can get to the free throw line. Interesting, both these teams shooting really well to start the game, but both leading scorers still haven't scored. Yeah. And a lot of that's good due to really good defense on Smith. They've been doubling her. She's done a great job kicking it back out, but we'll Vega see driving, trying to leave it for Smith. Puts it up awkwardly, can't get it to go. Again, good defense by Portland. On the pilot set of the offense, Andrews. Mulheim fires the three. Can't get it to go. I know she's not shy about shooting from three. And Thompson just misses it. But quick transition by Cal State Fullerton, and the pilots are coming right back. Mulheim put up 154 threes last season. This time, the jumper from the elbow is good. It's interesting. You don't see Mulheim shoot very often from outside that, from inside the arc, excuse me. Yeah, that's right. And she's Weird got to say, two, that's four right. points. <laughs> four points today just from attacking the basket. Already 33-point attempts on the season from Mulheim. Smith, and the leading scorer gets her first basket of the game. Big mismatch there. You had your point guard try to step up and play that help side defense. It's just a little late. Asia Smith averaging 18.8 points per game and 12 rebounds. Mulheim to the basket. The runner is a little short. Woolridge going for the rebound. It's loose and it falls to Perez. Big mismatch here with Mulheim trying to guard Smith. There is the runner is good. Nice jumper. And you see from both teams. A lot of aggression from everybody that's on the court right now. Nobody's really shying away from attacking. Well, again, as Andrew's trying to create off the dribble drive. Both teams going to the bench. Spencer checks back in along with Andrews. We got a local kid, it sounds like. And Portland going pretty deep in their bench early. Obviously, Kempf being in foul trouble kind of starts a little bit of that, but. Three from the corner, Slega knocks it down again. Took a quick breather, came right back in the game, firing. There is the runner, a little out of control along the baseline. Portland looking to go the other way. Anderson up strong, can't get it to go. The ball loose, got her own rebound. Good fight by Anderson. Mulheim from the top of the key, no. In both teams, I think they're starting to see the clock wind down. Trying to be a little more disciplined in their offense here. I heard that ovation, it was for Madison Freeman. Played her ball at Camus, just Ooh, across the river in Washington. Go. Got a couple local products. Nice good spin move. in the lane, and the good gutter is move. good. Lord Nubla. Nubla, the 5'5 five, five junior from Sacramento, California. Great move inside. Just secondary option, but again, everybody stepping on the court today has been aggressive offensively. Looks like Matz is waiting for that last shot. Game of shot clock essentially even. Matz on the elbow to the basket, blocked. Freshman Slager, the putback short. Still time to get up another shot. Slager trying to track it down. Can't get it to go. An exciting first quarter. Both teams. 
23-20 our score and Hannah Thompson and Deja Smith off to a good start but Thompson really playing well Jasmine. Yeah Thompson being very aggressive I mean she's taking five of their 15 shots just coming out stepping it up as Deja, Thompson, uh, Deja Smith excuse me is constantly getting double teamed in there. Amy Brook, the freshman, is second on the team in scoring. 14 out points per game. Hits the three. Spencer looking to answer. She does. Wow. Spencer, Spencer stepped up quite a few times on that answer. Just when she knows she has a slight mismatch and you give her a little space, she's taking advantage. Both teams are knocking down the long ball. Smith in the lane. The turnaround can't get it to go. And great defense there by Spencer. Good effort. With Amy Brook with that last three, a long one that time by Spencer. It was NBA range. She's their second leading scorer. She comes off the bench in every game. Perez, ball worked in the corner. Vega looking underneath again. Louis Spencer trying to front Smith. Perez in the paint, just inside the elbow. The turnaround is good. A nice shot. They probably work on that spin move. That's the second or third one we've seen here tonight. Good finish in there. Cal State Fullerton up by five. Slega off the screen, kicks it out. Anderson driving to the basket. Can't get it to go. Got the rebound, another look for Portland. Anderson having a tough time at the rim tonight. Slega deep three, can't get it to go. Vega with the rebound. Skip pass cross court. Vega thought about letting it go. So reset. And Spencer really putting in the work inside. I know Smith's working hard for every bucket she gets. Or every chance at a bucket she gets, I should say. And she's been held pretty pretty well on the scoring. Slega in transition. Tough try. Tried to use the glass. Couldn't get it to go. Might have lost a little bit going up. Nice move to the basket that time. Vega couldn't finish. Junior from Bronx, New York. And Pilot slowing it down. Probably a smart move here as the game starts to wear on. Both teams cooling off just a little bit here. Mats finds Spencer. She'll take the long three. Why not? And Spencer just keeps stepping up and hitting those threes. That's her, what, third one tonight? She's three of four from three-point range. Pilots are 5 from 12 from downtown. Cal State Fullerton is 5 of 7. Brooke put it on the floor. I think she took an extra step there, yep. J.C. Gorsman and, and Haley Andrews check back in. And Hannah Thompson, who we were just talking about, back into the game. Thompson. She gives a different kind of look. Good she shooter. comes into the game, but great defense right here. Pilots have been doing a great job, but the team defense has been a lot of switching, a lot of talking, but they've made it really difficult for Smith inside and also covered those guards. It's reported Slega, Andrews, Mulheim, Spencer, and Gorsman. Richard Thompson checking back in the game. She has seven points, two of three from three point range. Slega driving to the basket with the right hand on the glass. Yes, score the basket and a foul. Chance for a three-point play. And Dan Slega just really stepping up as that senior guard. She takes it to the rack. She knows her role, and her role is being a scorer. She takes it hard, gets hit, and still finishes at the basket going to the free throw line, where she's an awesome free throw shooter. Norris picks up the foul. Slega to the line. Slega was the leading scorer from a year ago. Just over 12 points per game. Also a good defender. She was third on the team in steals. Having just over 15 points per game this year. Well, but she's got she's got one steal tonight. The team as a whole has been doing great defensively with five steals. And Slega definitely a great leader for the Pilots. Slega already in double figures along with Spencer. They each have 12 points. And the free throw is good. Slega 70% free throw shooter coming into the game. And Portland back up by one. Here's Thompson off the screen. Nice, Mulheim. The credit will go to Slega on that still, but Mulheim in the mix. Six steal, the first half by the Pilots. Ball dumped out of Spencer on the block. The back jumper is good. A tough shot. She's fading away. Great read there by Spencer. She knows her mismatch. She's comfortable with that shot, with that one-on-one -on -one opportunity, and she called for it. 
Slago like getting a good pass inside to her. There's a floater, no good, got her rebound. Thompson for three off the mark. Andrews with the rebound. Andrews still looking for her first points in the game. Gorsman driving baseline. Looks like Gallo got a piece of it. Our question, Will got a piece of it, but a little contact there. And good strong move there, but you can definitely tell Andrew's difference that she makes with the pilot. She pushes that tempo, gives Gorsman the opportunity to drive like that, and gets him to the free throw line. That's been a game changer for them right now. Gorsman, two of two prior to that attempt on the season at the free throw line. Gorsman made 16 appearances last season for the pilots. In her sophomore year. Probably giving Spencer a quick break while Smith is still out. Remember, Lisa Marie Kemp picked up 2,000 the first two minutes of the game. She's been sitting ever since. Oh, that's on top. 32 28. Brooke lost the handle, got it back. Whereas will reset the offense, 10 on the shot clock. Looks like an ISO opportunity. Ball swung in the corner for Thompson, driving baseline, Ooh. blocked by Slega. The putback is short. The ball did touch the rim, and then it's, I don't know, they call a shot clock violation. I thought that shot hit the side of the rim, but I guess not. Guess not. Big block there by Slega, just coming over. Are not resetting the shot clock. Pilots on top. 32-28, we approach five minutes to play in the opening half. Andrews lost the handle. We'll stay with Portland. Good hands there on defense from Cal State Fullerton. Pilots just two turnovers here in the first half. Cal State Fullerton with eight. Which is a big one. It's a, it's a big one for Portland. It's a big maturity step because they've always struggled with, with turnovers, even though they've shot well. Um, so for them to be handling the ball well, that's what's keeping them in the game right now. Andrews running the point. Pilot's leading score. Looking for her first point to the game, averaging 18.8 on the season. Andrews double team momentarily. Slaga's got the hot hand, driving to the basket, off the glass for two more. And Slaga just too strong, finishing at the basket. Slaga game high 15 points. She's six of 11 from the field. They didn't want them to switch that because they wanted a pre-switch, but... Brooke for three, hits another one. shot. Well, the freshman from New Zealand shooting 57% from three-point range coming to the game, and she has two already. And Slaga loses it a little bit. Third turnover on the Pilots, three on two the other way. Nice strong Great move to the basket. Gil. We've seen that a few times. Cal State Fullerton pushes that tempo. They can get it up the court fast. Gill's first basket of the game. One point game, Portland on top, under five to go. Well, I'm Gorsman. Slega at the free throw line, looking underneath. Try to slip it back door that time to Andrews Redwell that time by Nubla. Good, Good job play by, by Slega. Slega <laughs> just jumping out the gym all day, having two big stops. Great steal there by Slega. And Andrews gets her first point to the game. Pilots up by three. Good D there by Andrews. Another steal by Portland. Eighth of the game. Andrews taking it all the way. Kicks it out. Gorsman into the paint. Still with it. With the left hand off for two. Good take by Gorsman. Being consistent at that basket for a second there. She looked up like she wanted to pass, but then realized she's the one with the drive. Thompson fakes the three, pulls up from inside the three-point line and connects. Thompson strong for Cal State Fullerton. Nine points for Hannah Thompson. Andrews, what a move in the paint for two. Big move there by Andrews. It looks like... You know, Slaga and, Andrew, and uh, Spencer, pardon me, they've combined for 29 points. Hannah Thompson leading the way. Nine points for the Titans. Five-point lead for Portland. Approach three minutes to play here in the opening half from the Child Center. Brooke lets it go. Time off the mark. Spencer with the rebound. Slago for three more off the front of the rim. Ball loose. It falls to Andrews. Andrews in the paint. 
Way to find Spencer. Can't get it to go. Gorsman rebound. Her putback's partially blocked. Got it again. Pilots aggressive on the glass. Slager left open and connects. Can't leave her open for that long. She's going to knock it down. First half already starting with 18 points. That wasn't the one to leave open. Top of the key three is no good off the mark that time by Vega. And Slega again bringing down a tough rebound. Good find. Andrews in the corner. One off the mark. Vega able to track down the rebound. 43-35, Portland on top. Here's Thompson. Vega off the screen. Brooke. The defense again by the Pilots. Asia Smith, just two points in the opening half this far. And a foul going to be called that time on the Pilots. That's one of those tough calls. Her feet got tangled up. And, goes, and she goes down, but good strong drive there. And Katu, the freshman from Salt Lake City. Well, I'm going to check back in. Maddie Mohan checks in for the Pilots. And Pilots going small. Even though Smith's still in the game. And I got Spencer on her. Vega, under two minutes to go here in the half. Rose looking for options. Smith, top of the key. Now on the elbow. And that's where they like her. Ball stripped again. Slega got a piece of it. It's loose. Thompson comes away with it. Eight on the shot clock. Perez kicks it out wide. Jumper from the corner. Coming Strong up. that time by Ann. Good defense by the Pilots. Andrews. And Drawing Andrews. contact. Andrews constantly attacking the basket. If she's not going to get the buckets, then at least she's going to draw some fouls for you. Just being aggressive towards that basket. And pretty much the same call that just happened out on the other end. Feet get tangled up. Man goes down. You're going to well, get the call. Last year, it was Kate Anderson who ended up on the ground yeah. <laughs> five or six times a game. Looks like Andrews is going to take that title this year. Close on last names, right? Yep. <laughs> Inbound to Slega. You like the way Anderson and both Anderson and Andrews are aggressive. And Spencer doing a really good job going right at Smith there. And they've made it a hard game for Smith coming in as a top scorer for Cal State Fullerton. Slega for three more. Just off the mark. And Spencer's got a big mismatch. You heard her calling for that, so... Expect him to look for her in his last minute. And on the dribble drive. Reds will reset. 13 on the shot clock. She'll take a last shot opportunity here. Good Driving to the basket. Up and under. Can't get it to go. Andrews rips down another rebound. Good move. Just can't finish. Great defense there by Spencer. Got caught in the air at the end. Pilots looking to work a little shot clock here. Seven second difference between game and shot clock. And Cal State, Fullerton showing a zone at the last play. Now wanting to give him an ISO opportunity, which is pretty smart. Andrews puts it on the floor, kicks it out. Matt's got to put it up with one. Can't get it to go. Offensive rebound, and now Portland can hold for the last shot. Mulheim's going to let it fly. No good. Probably wanted to wait a little bit for that last one. They had a little more time on the clock than we thought. Three steals and maybe the block of the year this far. <laughs> in college basketball. For sure, big block there. Anderson, Slega, kept back in the game. Spencer and Mulheim. She's going to fire a three. 0 for 3 from downtown. Offensive rebound by Spencer. Big rebound by Spencer. She does that for the Pilots. Though. She comes up with those second chance opportunities. Slega going to let it fly. That's no good. And the rebound... Pulled down by Cal State. Kemp played less than a minute in that first half, picking up two fouls right away. Picked those fouls up really quick and already coming in and mixing it up, getting a good hand on that ball right there. Another turnover. 11th of the game on Fullerton. 
Kemp on the block going at Smith. Spins with the left hand too strong. The ball loose. Thompson collects it. Perez throwing it ahead for Smith. Kemp got a part of the ball, but also part of the body. And that'll swing Deja Smith to the line. And Tough break there. She couldn't see the ball. She was running kind of blind, and then she tried to get a hand on it. And it was a little late. Deja Smith averaging 18.8 points per game. Just two points, one for three from the field in the first half. So Portland doing a great job on her defensively despite her big size advantage. 6'3". Yeah, and that's going to be a good challenge for Kemp if she's going to want to stay in this game. The first half was very strong, and she wasn't a big part of it, so she's going to need to continue to be a big part of it if she's going to stay in this game. Smith, a 63% free throw shooter. Had 12 points, 10 rebounds last year in the 66-61 win over the Pilots. 1-2 to that time, Kemp with a nice rebound. Spencer off the screen, pulls up right elbow, the jumper short. Kemp, Kemp the rebound. rebound. Lays it in for two. Big rebound there by Kemp, just size, just dominating inside. Thompson thought about the three. She was two of three, skip pass cross court. Perez now, she'll let it go from the right wing, no good. Malheim with the rebound. Malheim having a pretty big game. It's quiet, but she's coming up with a lot of those loose balls for Portland. Kemp for three, got it. Big shot by Kemp. It's like she heard me, right? Like I gave her a little bit of a challenge and she came up well, with it. This team is not listening to your advice. <laughs> start the third quarter. Already the 33 point attempt of the quarter. Here's Thompson, boiling on top, 48-36. Thompson, she's gonna let it fly way too strong. Not a good shot that time from Thompson, who's two of five from three point range. Malheim. Kemp Good going over to set a screen. Kemp again from the wing. Spencer. Spencer's probably going to go up with that, yep. Short. And did touch the front of the rim. Smith with the rebound. I think Gil may have got a piece of that shot. There is going to let it fly from the left wing. In and out, no good. Out of bounds. Will stay with the Titans. And both teams probably hearing it from their coaches a little bit to clean it up a little bit. Amy Brooke, the freshman, back into the game. Big rebound here by Kemp, though. She came in making impact. She's only playing a little only, little under two minutes first half. Bega for three. That's no good. Offensive rebound by Thompson. She'll kick it back out. Another look for the Titans. Bega cut off. Circles back to the top of the key. Brooke, two of three from three-point range in that first half. Smith with the left hand. Nice spin move in the paint. Good move there by Smith. I know that's probably what she's been looking to do all game. Slega trying to split a double team. Andrews to the basket. A little hesitation. Can't get it to go. Put back by Spencer. Short. Another look for Julie Spencer. Can't get it to go. Three opportunities at the basket for the Pilots. Tough break there for Spencer. Vega the other way. Portland up 48-38. Portland struggling to get the ball in the hole. Kemp had a couple good shots, but. Book off a screen for three off the front of the rim. Can't get it to go. Both teams cooling off early on here in the second half. Pilots are 0-5 from doing their last five attempts. Mulheim can't finish. They get 0-6. There is the other way. Please out wide, Vega. Smith on the block, skips it. Book for three, short. Good ball movement by Cal State Fullerton, but just can't knock it down. And here comes Andrews. And again, probably time to start slowing it down. Both teams coming out of that half a little more fatigued than I think they thought they were. Andrews with a strong drive, but just can't maintain it. Ball out of bounds back to Cal State Fullerton. Yeah, and this quarter could be a really defining quarter for the game. It's a 10-point game right now, but both teams need to clean it up a little bit or it can get, get close. Anna Kutu, the freshman from Salt Lake City, back in the game for the Pilots wearing number two. Vega. 
Ball dumped down low. Jennifer Smith was deflected. It's out of bounds. Good work again by Portland, forcing another turnover. Good work there by the pilots. They knew that they were trying to get it into Smith right there. And pilots have done a great job making it hard for her. Smith's a great player. She's Smith. had to go up against a whole team, though. Just five points, two of four from the field, and averaging 18.8 per game. And almost more important, more uh, impressive than how many points she scored is how many shots she's taken. It's very limited. Ball out of bounds to Portland, 21 on the shot clock. Mats. Malheim. Slag off a screen on the elbow, pulls up, in and out, no good. Jumper along the perimeter by Perez is short. When both teams settling for jump shots, it might be time to attack the basket. That time Slagan not on the same page for Portland, now scoreless in the last three minutes and 20 seconds. Still with the 10 point lead. Both teams now under 40% for the game. So this pass deflected another turnover. Fullerton just killing themselves here. Turnovers. Slega can't finish. The ball loose. Good work by the pilots. Mats fakes the three, puts it on the floor. You drive and two. Good finish there by the pilots. Each player looking to get to the basket rather than settling for the jump shot. Alea breaks a 0 for 9 drought for the pilots. Portland up 50 to 38. And Cal State Fullerton slowing it down a little bit. Drive to the basket, short by Vega. Malheim in transition for three, no good. Put back by Slega, good. Darius Slega just unwilling to be relaxed. Currently, both teams probably need to relax a little, get to the basket, look for those other opp opportunities offensively. Kelsey Fullerton is one of nine here in the third quarter. Portland four of 18. Both teams have cooled off here in the third. Well worked around the perimeter. Vega. Another turnover. Another 14th turnover. of the game. Mats comes away with it. Mats, good patience. And an offensive foul call on Slega. Tough break there for Slega. Game. Yeah, scoreless, and a lot of that it comes back to, and I know we keep beating a dead horse here, but a lot of threes being shot it just from the half. 0 for 6 from the three for Cal State Fullerton, only 1 for 5 for Portland. Don't want to live and die by that three. Nubla. Skip pass, cross court. Vega for three. Short. Shot clock continues to wind down. Make that 0 for 7. 0 for 7 here in the second half. Thompson thought about it. And Portland switched out to his own smart move there. A right, blocking foul. Got two. I think that's where that half circle kind of gets to your disadvantage. Almost the same call. Oh, no, she was out of the circle. Just feet weren't set quite yet. Two second foul. Got along the baseline a little short. Gallo kicks it out. Thompson works around the perimeter. Vega left wing wide open for three. That's no good. And for eight here in the second half. The ball loose. Good effort all down low by Gallo. Quick timeout there by the coach at Cal State Fullerton. Good call. I think at this point, every possession for him is important. Talked about scoring trend for Cal State there. Scoreless in the last four minutes and 13 seconds. They'll inbound from underneath. A layup short. All back to the pilots. Another tough break for Cal State Fullerton. Big rebound by Julie Spencer. Mats. Two on the elbow. Driving, spinning with the right hand. Nice move to the basket. Lays it in for two. Great move right there. Getting to the basket, going strong. Showing Julie Spencer's not the only one with a spin move, right? <laughs> Through the freshman. Her second appearance of the year. Nice move to the basket. Thompson on the elbow. Gallo. Good defense by the Pilots. 
Titans resetting with 10 on the shot clock. They drive in the basket and foul eight on the shot clock. And Matt's knew she fouled there. You could see it on her face from that one. Good, strong drive, being aggressive. And just got her hand in there. Good, strong move, though, by the pilots. Again, getting to that basket, that's what's going to make them successful in the long run. Kemp and Anderson back in. Two, and Andrew's checking out. Quiet day for Andrews offensively, just four points. So both teams' leading scorers who are averaging for 18 per game on the year and held in check this afternoon. Spencer, Anderson. Back to Spencer. She's going to let it fly. That's no good. Matt's the rebound. Leaves it for Spencer. Kind of the basket for two. Great cut there by Spencer. And again, I think what one thing that Spencer's been doing so great tonight is that she doesn't give up after the one shot. Make or miss. She just keeps attacking towards that second one. Great find by Matt's. Vega turning the corner, driving up high. Strong move to the basket, and she'll have a chance for a three-point play. And Vega being extremely aggressive for Cal State Fullerton. She's undersized, but attacks that basket hard. That's a big bucket for her, especially right after drawing the foul the last drive. She's just going to keep coming at him. Free throw by Vega is no good. A 72% free throw shooter. Slega going all the way to the basket with the left hand. Thompson got a piece of that. Anderson, Spencer along the baseline from 10 is good. And again, Spencer staying ready for that second shot opportunity. Great find there by Anderson. And Portland staying in this 2-3 zone look. Skip pass for Vega, puts it on the floor. Double team cuts off the angle. On the turn baseline, Anderson again. To cut that angle off. Thompson, a deep three, way off the mark. And a foul call, which may have been a blessing because you see a headband on the court. You don't want to try to transition and somebody's ankle go out. There's another look. A tough break there. I think everybody just being aggressive. And the pilot's already in some foul trouble. Miguelo at the line, the junior from San Diego. One of two at the free throw line this season. Her second appearance of the year. Knocks that one down as Honey Mohan checks back in the game for Slega. Two good free throws for Cal State Fullerton. Portland doesn't want to let that clock stop. Time's on their side. Three from the wing is good. Spencer, Spencer probably shooting the best from outside tonight. She was 41% from three-point range coming in the game. Just 28% last year. But a lot of that is Spencer's getting her feet set early. But you're trying to answer. That's no good. The ball loose out of bounds. It will stay with Cal State. I believe Cal State is 0 for 9 in this quarter from three-point line. Another turnover, Kemp, two on one. Matt's trying to leave it for Anderson. Good hustle that time by Gallo to get back. I think Matt's kind of telegraphed that a little bit too much. If she should have just stayed aggressive to the basket, then that opportunity would have presented itself. It's a good thought. Great defense again by the Pilots, though. I mean, they're getting opportunity after opportunity strictly because they are playing strong team defense. Spencer on the elbow. How's it at the top of the key? Ball swung cross court. Mulheim. 15 on the shot clock. Mulheim back from Matt's eight. Got to drive baseline. The runner is in and out. And here comes Cal State Fullerton. Good defense by Mulheim. 0 for 10 from three-point range in the third quarter. Cal State's wow. shooting themselves out of this game. 
Or the basket and the foul with .2 seconds. Are they going to call a charge? No basket. Called an offensive foul, yep, to set. And it's one of those things where you're not quite sure that if Anderson was aware of the shot clock to the last second there, and then she's tried to be aggressive. And Cal State Fullerton, just a smart move. And stepping up and taking that charge. Fullerton really struggling from the field. Oh, Jasmine, 21 points, 10 rebounds tonight for Spencer. And very consistent. That's what's been big about Spencer. She's just taken what's been given to her. She stepped up when she needed to. Great leadership by your senior. You talk about not relying on the three Fullerton, really hurting themselves in that third quarter. 0 for 11 from three-point range. Good shot off the screen by Perez. Looking to change that karma right there, at least getting some points on the board. 0 for 11 from three-point and only 2 for 17. So they got the shot opportunities, just couldn't knock them down. Uh, it's a top 61 to 45. Andrews spinning the paint with the right hand. Nice move, just couldn't get it to go. And Andrews just strong in the paint for that rebound. Just out muscles about three Cal State Fullerton players. Here's Slega. The game for Slega, 20.6 rebounds. Foul on the floor. Tough break on Slega right there. She just wasn't quite set on her screen. She went to roll and got the moving screen call. It's not quite set. Starts to roll. Good hip check. <laughs> Here's Vega on the elbow. Yo, hands it off. Three from the top of the key. Good. And Vega finally knocking one down. She took about three or four last quarter and just couldn't get it to, to fall for her. But First three of the second half. Titans one of 12 from three-point range in this half. Slega going strong in the basket. Kind of got tied up on the way back. Quick outlet ahead for Gillis behind the defense. And she will lay it in for two. Coach Sorensen already calling that timeout. And 8.47 eight, eight is quite a bit of time to come back for it. But it leads only 11 points, so Portland got to stay sharp. Andrews, Spencer, Kemp, Mulheim, and Slega on the court for the Pilots. Here's the freshman. Spencer. Slega pulls up from the free throw line. And Slega, nice shot right there. Not even bad defense. It was just a great shot, what Slega's known to do, stepping up in big moments. 22 points for Slega. Three from the wing by Thompson. Gets it to go, or third of the game. Big shot by Thompson. They're shooting 100% coming out of a really tough shooting half. But Thompson was kind of quiet last quarter. Now she's coming back. Now double figures, her first basket of the second half. Mulheim looking to answer her first of the game. Big answer by Mulheim right there. I know she's been struggling with that three-point line tonight. One of five after missing her first four attempts. Perez, Thompson, Smith. Thompson in the corner for three. Yes. Back-to-back -back threes Thompson. for Hannah Thompson. Came out, had a strong first half, really strong first quarter. It's looking like she's... Gearin has finished the game the same way she started. Well, that all started with that quick pass by Smith out of the corner. They're getting familiar with that zone defense that uh, Portland switched to. Travel fall on Slega. And Portland's going to have to stay sharp. That What they don't want to do is start falling into the comfort of having multiple turnovers because they've relaxed a little bit. If they want to hold on to this lead, they got to stay sharp. Tenth turnover on Portland. Perez gonna let it fly off the mark. Taylor Andrews, Mulheim. Back to back Big three shot Mulheim. by Mulheim. Getting comfortable. Smith running the court at the other end. Portland didn't get back defensively. Can't trade buckets though. That's gonna be a big one. Spencer. Under seven to go. Andrews to the basket, slips it down low for Kemp, turns, half the basket, can't get it to go. The ball loose, Slega knocked it away, puts it up for two more, what a play. Slega just relentless, once again, she just keeps fighting throughout the game, never relaxes. The rest of the basket, a nice move off the glass for two. Great drive. And this is starting to look a lot like the first, first quarter. Third quarter was a challenge there, but Portland's got to be getting back and knowing that Cal State Fullerton is going to continue to be aggressive. They're trying to get back in this game. 
That's been the last four or five. Make it five of six. Big shot for Spencer. They got to get a stop here if they want to slow down this train buckets. 74 to 60, Portland on top. Spencer, five of seven from three point range tonight. And Portland staying in this zone. Slagan and Spencer each have 24 points. Three on the wing. That's no good by Vega. Smith, the offensive rebound. A tough break there for Smith. Pull down a rebound, but shorter guards just threw it a little over their head. That's in for Kemp. And Kemp doing some good work inside. Forsman going to come in for Andrews. And Amy Book going to check back in for Cal State, replacing Caroline Gill. And Gill has been really strong on Julie Spencer, just a great athlete, has really challenged her. Julie Spencer stepped up to the plate quite a few times, but they've been a fun battle to watch. Spencer, good ball fake to the basket for two, just blew by Smith. Gorsman with a steal. Big steal by Gorsman. Unfortunate turnover, but at least it started with a steal, right? <laughs> Pilots doing work defensively. 13 steals for Portland this afternoon. Still 525 left to go. Pilots on top, 76-60. Brooke for three, short. All I am pulls down the rebound. And Cal State cooling off once again. All I am lost it. You're right back to Cal State. The travel called on Pete, just Flores. a little too quick. She's looking for that drive opportunity, and you can tell us Kelsey likes to push the tempo right there. She's looking to drive early, but just a little too quick with her feet. How about Spencer and Slag have combined for 50 of the team's 76 points. Big time players, and that's what you're supposed to do as a senior leader. They were leaders last year, and now this is their last year together. Slaga for three more. Can't get it to go. And then Matt's with the foul. Coming in just a little too aggressive right there. Good effort there. And Matt's just coming in at the last minute here. Thinking she could get a hand on it. Two is checked back into the game. Three from the win. Perez short. Offensive rebound by Smith. Thompson from the right wing. Three Thompson. more for Thompson. Big shots by Thompson, and she's fighting to keep her team in this game. Thompson, a team high 18 points, 5 of 10 from three point range. But how about Smith working in there for the rebound? She hasn't got as many shots off today, but she's been working. And seven points, three of five from the field. Moheim, her third of the half. Moheim matching Thompson shot for shot. She's finally found her rhythm. She liked that spot on the right wing. 79-63. Portland looking to improve to 4-1 on the season. Nice pass underneath and Smith wide open for two. Caught a little too high on that. Great post up there by Smith. Mats underneath. And they call it travel. Ball back to Cal State Fullerton. Matt's good find there. Portland, once again, doesn't want to relax right here. But great find by Matt's, just not quite ready for it. And it looks like she dribbled, so I couldn't see her feet, so we couldn't see the travel, but Portland just needs to stay, stay sharp. Ball worked around the perimeter. Another big steal. 14 turnovers. Good ball handling there, protecting it. Mats. Back to Slega. Slega driving to the basket. Tough angle, oh. almost got it to go. Great drive by Darian right there. Just couldn't get it to drop. Way to move around Smith. I don't know how she avoided that. Smith in the air. <laughs> Under three to go, Portland on top, 79-65. Brooke Thompson almost let it fly, skips it cross court. We're to the basket, off the glass for two. Nice move. And still just a 12-point game. 
Ball I'm short that time. A little bit of a heat check there. You hit three in a row. Nothing wrong with letting it fly. Yarte with the rebound. Brook open underneath. Gets it to go. Great pass underneath. Lead for the Pilots. 2.21 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Not a whole lot of time, but not a huge lead. Not unsurmountable. So you can count that Cal State Fullerton's going to keep bringing it. Slega. Andrews driving underneath the basket. Spencer on the elbow, 10 on the shot clock. Now turns on Smith, trying to go baseline, lost the handle, got it back. Andrews four on the shot clock. Andrews, strong drive to the basket there. She's not the quickest player, but she's got a lot of strength. In oh yeah, for sure. Some gaps in the defense. And even there, you see like coming up in between two, three arms, still getting the ball up, giving it a chance to go in. Strong for the freshman, part of its leading score, 18 out points per game. Limited this afternoon, just four points, two of eight from the field. It's good to see that for the Pilots, too. I think Andrews and Slega complement each other really well as they're both very strong players to the basket. Andrews knocks out a pair of free throws. Thompson. Darte driving baseline, pulls up. Nice shot along the baseline. Good pull up. You see Cal State Fullerton's bench really excited. They're not ready to roll over. Little 10 point lead. Portland doing a good job of winding down that shot clock. Andrews spinning on the elbow with the left hand. Nice move to the basket. Great move to the basket. Big finish. You can see how this freshman can have some big games. Big scoring games. That's intended for Smith. Turnover is hurting Cal State tonight. Just another look at that strong move to the basket by a freshman. Finishing on the left side. Fullerton now 20 turnovers. Pilots 13 steals. Slega. We have one minute to go. One minute left in the period. Spencer a little strong on that jumper. Thompson in the corner. Garte driving. Good transition defense. Ball ping bongs around. It's out of bounds. That's off of Brook. Back to Portland with 47 seconds to go. Great transition defense by the Pilots here, and I think that's been a big defining factor of this game for them. And Coach Sorensen, I'm sure she's happy to be able to go as deep into the bench as she's been going. Where last year they were a little more strapped than they are this year. Ballheim, a little strong. Vega not done yet. Keeps driving hard to the basket. And both teams have had very aggressive players on the court, like, you know, from the starting to the going deep into the bench. A lot of players have been aggressive, got a lot of shots up. Portland has been a little more successful with getting to the basket and finishing. As we saw, Cal State Fullerton settled for a lot of threes. That third quarter, I think it came back to bite them. Well, out of bounds, it'll stay with Fullerton. Portland will stay here at home. They'll take on Utah State. November 28th and a crosstown meeting against Portland State December 1st and four straight at home before they open up conference play. Brooke for three. Nice shot from the freshman. And Portland probably just going to waste out the clock here. And a great game for the Pilots coming home, opening up their season at home right, aggressive and really doing a good job.